Hey guys, and welcome back to the Pokemon Fab Five. I am your host, Mullet Swami, and today I'm bringing you guys the week number eight? No, this is week number ten matchup in the APA, the Pokemon, the American Pokemon Association. We are five and four so far on the season. We are coming off back-to-back -back wins over two teams that are now 7-2. and two. So we have some big wins that we just got. And we're going to be taking on our first of three divisional opponents. We're taking on the Nij Nijmijin Nuzleafs. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And Automatic. So they are 4-4. Four and four. I don't know exactly what the Week 9 matchup was, but we'll, we'll see um, how that played out, I guess, in the near future. But at 4-4, four and four, at in a minus 6 differential, we have a half game lead plus the differential, or plus 3. So, that's pretty good as of right now. And as you know from the season, we've had a pretty good balance of what we've brought. We've brought Coco 8 times out of the 9. We've brought Conkelder 5 times. We've brought Gudra 8 times out of the 9. We've brought Gal four times, Mega Camera up six times, Cartana four times, Mesbrick three times, Slurp up four times, Holucha four times, Slowbro three times, and Sand Slash once. He does not have that sort of balance on his team. He's brought Jirachi every match. He's brought Latios all but one, Mega Pidgeot all but one. He's brought Vaporeon five out of eight, Blissey six out of eight, Mandibuzz six out of eight. He has not brought Breloom yet. I don't know why, but he has not. Um, he's brought Salazzle four times, Granbull three times, Rhyperior once, and Electabuzz once. So, the balance is not there, but he has some very scary mons. So, the Jirachi and the Latios are his two Z-Move users. Mega Pidgeot is obviously a very good Pokemon. So, without further ado, let's jump into what we're going to be using for this battle. We start things off with our Tapu Koko. Rockin' Agility, Wild Charge, Grass Knot, and Dazzling Gleam with the Electric Surge, obviously, and Electrinium Z, or Electrium Z. 252 attack, 64 special attack, Naive Nature, which is speed boosting minus special defense, 188 speed investment, and 4 HP. That means that we will outspeed everything on his team naturally, which is excellent. Um, outside of that, with the agility, we can guarantee outspeed everything. You know, if he has Choice Scarf, Latios, Choice Scarf, Salazzle, things like that. But, um, Wild Charge with Electrium Z, Oko's, um, Max HP, Max Defense, Bold, Blissey. Yeah, it does a lot. Plus, it does a ton, uh, you know, using Gigavolt Havoc. Um, Dazzling Gleam, hit two hits the Latios if it doesn't have a ton of investment. If uh, we're expecting it to be Choice Scarf, so that's why we have that. Grass Knot is for the Rhyperior. It won't Oko it um, unless he has no special defense investment, which I don't think he's going to do. And I don't think he's going to bring it anyway, but it's still an interesting tech to have just in case. Um, and Coco's really powerful. Next up, we have Cartana, which, if he doesn't have Salazzle, is going to be our dedicated lead. Sword, sp Sword Stance, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, and Night Slash. Um, plus two, Sacred Sword, uh, Oko's Blissey. Plus two, Night Slash, Oko's pretty much Latios and Jirachi. Um, outside of that, Sacred Sword does a ton to the Mega Pidgeot. Um, Mandibuzz is a bit of an issue. But outside of that, we can pretty much deal with anything. Um, and the Focus Sash means that we can live a Fire-type attack from any one of the Pokemon that want to use it. Um... Also, because Blissey might be carrying Stealth Rocks, that could be an issue. Next up, we have Gudra, which has Sap Zipper, Super Power, Earthquake, Dragon Tail, and Rock Slide. We are a full offensive Gudra this time around. 220 HP, 252 attack with an Adamant Nature, and 36 speed EVs just to speed creep man to buzz a little bit, um, in case he wants to put something in there. Um, Earthquake does a ton of damage to Jirachi. I don't remember exactly how much it does. Um, let me see. Gudra versus Jirachi. Near max HP Jirachi, it is a two hit. 95% chance to two hit after leftovers. So that's really, really good. Superpower does a ton to Blissey. 
it will do 61 to 72 percent if it's max HP, max defense. Um, Dragon Tail still does 23 or 27 percent. So if we can whittle that thing down a little bit, Superpower can take it out. And we are also rocking the Assault Vest. Next up, we have Snoopy the Hall Lucha. Hall Lucha has Substitute, Swords Dance, Acrobatics, and High Jump Kick. So the Substitute is interesting play just because um, I think it gets us a free uh, Swords Dance up. Acrobatics at plus two does a ton to a lot of his team. So does High Jump Kick. And we are obviously Electric Seed. 236 speed means we outspeed uh, Latios. Before, if it's not choice scarfed, and if it is, we will outspeed anything at uh, an electric speed range. 12 HP, just some other distribution there. Next up, we have Cloyster the Slowbro. Rock and Scald, Ice Beam, Calm Mind, and Slack Off. Um, I'm not expecting the Vaporeon this week. I just don't think it's a good play against our electric type attackers and Kartana. So I'm expecting the mods that you see right here. And because of that, I think Slowbro is a pretty good bring. Um, obviously Blissey walls it, but this is a good defensive wall. Deals with Jirachi well, and um, also deals with Rhyperior very well if we do get into that situation. Calm mind, if we get rid of the Blissey, this thing can go to town. Max HP, max defense, leftovers, you know, the whole, whole nine yards. And lastly, we have Cupcake, the Slurpa. 4 HP, 252 attack, 234 plus speed, for special defense and 12 defensive investment. That means that we are going to hit 133, which means we hit 266. Um, I believe that is to outspeed Choice Scarf Latios. Um, if I want to just do that math correctly before we jump right into it. Uh, 167 times 1.5. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, we don't outspeed Salazzle. I don't remember why exactly we went to 133. I think it was to outspeed some things that were not in Trick Room. I mean, not uh, before the... Yeah, um, we don't outspeed Max Speed Breloom, but we do outspeed Vaporeon if it's Max Speed. Um, yeah, uh, Neutral, Mandibuzz if it's Max Speed, you know, things like that. But um, this is to make sure that we can still put... Oh, sorry, it was 178, that's what it was. Not 167. So let me just do that real quick. 178 times 1.5. 267. Oh, I must have messed this up. Oh well. Um, that's my bad. Doesn't matter. Regardless. Um, so we are rocking Belly Drum, Drain Punch, Play Rough, and Wish. Wish is a really interesting tech because that gives us the opportunity to just kind of wish pass, wish support to uh, the rest of our team, which could be really useful. But we have four physical type attackers um, that are, we have two that are clear, or three that are clear, and Halucha, actually no, we have two. Kartana and Halucha are clear. Gudra can be mixed, Coco can be mixed, and Slurpuff can be mixed. So this is what we're bringing, and that's what I'm expecting him to bring this week. So um, we are going to take a moment, and we're going to jump right into the battle. We'll be right back. All right, so I have a ton of butterflies right now. This is an important matchup for us as we are currently the second seed in our conference, or in our division. So, uh, top two from each division make it. So, obviously, the divisional matches at the end of the season are a bit uh, dramatic, but um, I think if we win this one, we could be in a really good spot to make playoffs. It's not going to be a guarantee, but uh, I do feel confident in our squad, and I think the fact that he has a very... Not a basic squad, but he has a, a blueprint to what he likes to do, typically. As he brings... None of it! Okay! <laughs> that is so fine by me. Um, no Salazzle. So that means that uh, Kartana is going to be our dedicated lead here. Um, okay. Rhyperior... Electabuzz, um, Granbull, Latios, Jirachi, and Blissey. Okay, so I'll change that in a minute. Let me just ready up. Um, we're going to lead with Origami. And 
we'll go from there. So, I'm not going to confirm it yet. Let me change his Pokemon. So, no Mega Pidgeot, which is fine by me. Um, no Mandibuzz, which is also fine by me. And no Salazzle, which that is the big one. That is the one that scared us the most. And because of that, we can now deal massive damage to everything on his team with our Slurpuff. But the Intimidate is going to be a little bit problematic. However, with the... Uh, with the Vaporeon not here, we can hit pretty much everything except for Blissey for good damage. As he leads Shocking, which is the Electabuzz. Okay, so Cartana versus Electabuzz. It can't outspeed us. I think I'm going to go for a Swords Dance. Let me see what Electabuzz wants to use. This is a weird Pokemon to bring. Um, let me see. So, Vital Spirit and Static. Okay. It could Thunder Wave, I guess. But it's Focus Blast. Has Fire Punch. I'm going for a Swords Dance, man. No concern. We do outspeed, obviously. Let's see what he goes for. Discharge. Trying to paralyze? Doesn't get it. Fine by me. And now a Leaf Blade will just KO this thing. Oh yeah. Should be an easy KO. Discharged quite a bit. Um, down to 53. Oh, it's choice specs. That's a weird... Unless it's modest. That's 61%. No, it, that has to be choice specs. Timid choice specs? Whoops. Oh no, that can't be chat. That can't be specs. Um, plate. The electric plate. Yeah, it's probably the one of the plates. Um, Leaf Blade from Cartana. And down goes that. So, Cartana kills Electabuzz. You know what? If we were the speed boosting version, we would have just won. That would have been game. Right there. But that's fine by me. Um, plus three, Eon, which is the Latios. So we'll, I guess we'll get a feel for if this is Choice Scarf or not. Actually, no, it probably would just outspeed us, wouldn't it? Um, I'm staying in, man. I'm going for a Night Slash. I don't care. Psychic. That'll probably KO. Any item? No, we don't see an item. Um, okay, so... Latios... Kills... Cartana. That's okay. Um, I'm going to go into our... <laughs> Let me see, does Latios get... 
Let's see. Latios, does he get Sludge Bomb? No. Okay. So... Tapu Coke... Uh, uh, no, Slurpuff. Slurpuff is the one. Okay. Versus Latios. Would be... Oh, yeah. But I'm not ready to make that play just yet. Mm. With his team... I'm okay doing this. Let's see what he's gonna do. We did give up Carton a little early, but I'm okay with that. We're just gonna belly drum. Knowing Calcs, I should outspeed him in his mind, even though I know I don't. Um, if he's not Choice Scarf, though, then by all means, we're good. So, this is a little risky. Doing a little early, but... Goes for the Psychic. Okay, how much is this going to do? That did a lot. Down to 53. Down to 53. That's not... Yeah, that's... That's about right. Gonna play rough here. He can't think that he's going to outspeed us, right? 136, we outspeed that. <sighs> That's so stupid. Why would he assume that? That's my fault. That is completely my fault on the calculation. Um, I don't know how that happened, but... Latios kills... Slurpuff. But we know it is, of course, um, Choice Scarfed. So... The play here is to go into Gudra and Dragon Tail. But... If he goes into the Grand Bowl, we're in a little bit of trouble. So I think I'm gonna double into... Would he really do that? I'm gonna Dragon Tail. We'll see. I know nothing about his playstyle, which is part of the issue. He does withdraw now. Mm. Sparkle. The Blissey. Nice. That did a little over 25%. What comes in? Courage. Which is the Grand Bull. Okay. So... Gudra... Versus the Blissey. That looked like that did a little more than 25%. Which could mean that it has some special defense. But I'm going to go into slow, bro. Play rough. Yeah, that's expected. Doing nothing to slow, bro. Um... With his team, the play here is to Calm Mind. Because Blissey doesn't particularly scare me. He does withdraw. Yeah. <laughs> I 
It is leftovers. That's the first item we know. At well, second. Lefties. A oh, Latios. I, I didn't mean to cross out Latios. Oops. Latios. Scarf. Okay. Um. I'm curious. He's probably gonna toxic us. I think I'm gonna skull try to get some residual. Yeah. Does toxic. Pretty expected. Um. Doesn't do enough. Alright, uh... I think the play here is to probably go into Hall Lucha. But... I don't want to do that so early. I'm gonna go into Coco. What's he gonna go for? We set up the Electric Surge. Sets up Stealth Rocks, okay. So... Tapu Coco... Versus Blissey. Versus Latios. Standard Choice Scarf Set. I'm going to go for the... Dazzling Gleam, here. Okay, that was a good, good decision. In comes the Horn. Okay, so we'll get an idea of its item. This Dazzling Gleam. No item, it's probably Rindo. Okay. I'm not going to Giga Gigavolt Havoc anytime soon. Just because that thing is terrifying. But I do like that we have the option. I truly believe it's going to be Rindo Berry. As he is going to set up a Rock Polish or go for an Earthquake. Goes for a Rock Blast. Maybe expecting Holucha? Interesting play. Only hits twice. Um... I'm going to Scald pretty clearly here. <laughs> yeah. His, his wall core is very clear. It's Blissey. It's Rhyperior. A burn would be nice. No burn. Okay. So I'm going to go back into Coco, I think. You know what now? I'm going into Halucha here. Is Halucha the right play at this juncture? Let me see. Versus Rhyperior. It took 25% from that. So it's probably special de specially defensive. Halucha... Oh, Lucha. Plus two high jump kick will destroy it. So I'm going into Hall Lucha here. There's our electric seed boost. So it goes for a seismic toss, that's fine. No issue here. That's a good damage. Very good damage. Um, no way he stays in, though. Not a chance in hell. So, I'm going to set up a sword stance here. We've seen... Stealth Rocks, we've seen Toxic, we've seen Seismic Toss. 
draw is what comes in. Courage. Okay, so we're at plus one. Versus Granbull. Wow. That thing does not take a hit. I mean, that thing does not, uh... No item. I'm going to stay in and go for an acrobatics. Overpredict. That did good damage. Goes for the play rough. He does hit. Okay, oh. Yeah. Okay. So, Grand Bull kills Lucha. So, we're losing Mons kind of left and right here, but. I don't feel terrible about our position for one specific reason. We still have Tapu Koko. And Coco can win us this game. Well, not single-handedly, but it can win us this game. So let me see. Tapu Koko. Coco comes back in, takes Stealth Rock damage. Um, do we lose if it's Rindo? Probably. I'm gonna Wild Charge anyway. Based on that damage, do I trust that I can KO it? Not really. But I have to make a big decision here, and if I Dazzling Gleam, I will be able to kill the Rhyperior. Oh. That was a crit. That matters. Against Blissey, that matters. Um, I'm going for it. That thing's dead. <sighs> See ya, Blissey. That's game changing right there. Coco kills Blissey. <sighs> Never give up. Rindo Berry or versus Riparier. I guess we're going to find out. Now nah, we're not going to find out yet. Not doing it. I'm not risking it yet. The biscuit is not worth risking it for at the moment. Yeah. 
Let's get a load of this damage. 177 down to 122. Okay, that'll give us an idea of this set. Wait, where's Cloister? Two fifty two, two fifty two. Mm. Bold. Okay. So how much should Earthquake have done? Twenty eight to thirty four. That did fifty five. So one seventy seven down to one twenty two. It's twenty seven percent, yeah. So it's less. It's zero attack. I'm setting up a calm mind. Goes for Earthquake again. Okay. It's faster. That's not good. That's to that's really close. I'm gonna have to scald. Can we get the damage? Oh, that'll KO. Okay, that's a trade I'll make. That is 100% a trade I'll make. Okay, so Rhyperior is down. Okay. Electricity is gone. Slowbro kills Rhyperior. Okay. Superior kills Slowbro. We're going into Gudra. Okay, in comes Jirachi. I'm not sure what he can go for. But I'm going to go for an Earthquake. Iron Head. You're trying to flinch me, huh? This thing's evil. I hate it. I do. I hate this thing. <sighs> well, that's game. I can't win this. It's Choice Scarf 2. He brought two Scarfed Mons. Fuck that. I played this match terribly, and honestly, I am the reason I lost. That's a shitty way to lose a game, but I played like shit anyway, so I'm gonna get out of here. Alright guys, we're 5-5, five and five. and that's that, so, see ya.